I'm, I'm Paolo Gozzi, I'm an official of the institution building unit in DG Enlargement, the Director General which takes care of all candidate and potential uh, candidates for accession to the EU and within this unit which uh, is as I said the institution building unit we manage uh, two different instruments which are twinning and TIEX. TIEX is a short-term technical assistance instrument. Short term means that it mobilizes experts for a very limited period of time in the sense that we send an expert on mission for three days, five days, and we organize a study visit for officials from the beneficiary countries to one member state's administration also for the duration of two, three days. Everything is taken care of from Brussels, so the expert travelling receives uh, its ticket, flies to the capital of the beneficiary country, uh, has an hotel booked by Brussels uh, and uh, can deliver its uh, assistance without any concern. So the three main uh, kind of activities we do is, as I mentioned, expert missions, study visits and of course workshops, seminars, uh, conferences, call them the way you want. The idea is to have a panel of experts and an audience in front of them. Twinning is a much more complex instrument because it is part of the yearly uh, financial assistance that the EU as such is providing to a country. So um, some discussions precede the decision to launch uh, a twinning project. Of course it must also be a key related, it must be linked to the uh, implementation of uh, legislation which is enshrined in the uh, acquis and uh, it in involves a, a long-term planning of activities. Um, all member states have the possibility to propose their option, their solution to a need that has been identified in a beneficiary country. So they are treated on, a, on an equal footing and member states are very keen to participate in these activities because then the activity develops over a rather long period, can be one year, can be longer, can be over two years in some, in some cases. And of course it's based on the presence of someone from the member state which provides the assistance throughout the duration of the program. So we have the so-called resident twinning advisor who stays in the country and organizes the visits of other experts, a program of activities which is meant to uh, help the beneficiary country reach some mandatory results which are set at the very beginning and which must be met by the end of the project. The, uh, the way a twinning project is organized uh, to give also the uh, due responsibility to both sides is a grant that the EU gives to one member state in order to implement the proposal, the program that he has submitted to the beneficiary countries and by the latter accepted. SIGMA is a program which is meant to provide assistance to the same beneficiaries uh, in the enlargement environment and in the neighbourhood policy environment on issues related to public administration reform and to public governance. Uh, we all know that a functioning administration is instrumental to the implementation of any kind of reform, any possibility to take on board uh, what we call the acquis or the EU legislation which will allow the beneficiaries one day to become member states in the enlargement framework or to join the single market in the neighbor, neighborhood uh, framework. The, since the Commission did not uh, feel uh, at a certain point that he had in-house the competencies to provide this kind of assistance or to organize the provision of this assistance, it decided to turn to uh, OECD, uh, which indeed had a, a section 
uh, dealing with public administration reform and the Sigma program was set up. The Sigma program is uh, leaves of uh, contribution uh, at almost 100%. I think mm -hmm. it's around 95-97% of the EU budget, uh, the rest being covered by OECD. Uh, and the implementation of the, the assistance is partly provided by people working within OECD and partly by experts from member states that they hire with the agreement of the Commission.